Till you quit smiling and I'll leave behind Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a good old full face of testing out some brand new makeup for you guys. I got a lot to go through, so I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So the first brand I'm gonna talk to you guys about is a brand called LYS Beauty. The packaging is so cute. Like this is a blusher and you can also apply this on your lips as well and that color. Oh. Amazing. LYS Beauty is a black owned makeup brand and also it is owned by a woman called Tisha and it just makes me so happy to discover new brands that are owned by women of colour. I find that so inspiring and it just gives me a motivation to hopefully one day have my own brand as well. So the products I'm going to be trying is this right here. This is the Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil. My lips are so dry. I'm gonna go ahead and drench my lips in this. I I just love the packaging, it's so cute. Mmm. Oh, this is a type of lip oil that's got texture. So it's got that slight tackiness, which I personally really like. It's not like a yucky tackiness, it's got that firmness. Cause you know how like some lip oils are so slippery. This on the other hand is not. This has got sunflower, carrot, sweet almond, and macadamia nut oil in there, which is so cool. It is really nice. I'm always searching for new lip balm because that's how dry my lips are. So the next product I'm gonna try from LYS Beauty is this primer. Oh my God, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, when I shake the primer bottle, the primer jiggles inside. I don't think you can tell. It has got hyaluronic acid in there and niacinamide as well and AHA. Wow, what a, an amazing product already. Like that to me just sounds like incredible because I love skincare. So yeah, the key ingredients is niacinamide, ginger root extract, AHA, and they got the AHA from fruit and it's got grapefruit extract as well. So it's got vitamin A, C and E to help brighten the look of dark spots or hyperpigmentation, which is great because I have so so much hyper pigmentation from picking my spots. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Ooh, okay. I can definitely feel the hyaluronic acid. I know that sounds really weird to say, but I have been using hyaluronic acid for so many years now that I kind of can tell when a product does have hyaluronic acid and when a product doesn't have hyaluronic acid. Now, what I look for in a primer, and this is so important, is that I have to find a primer that works well with all of my foundations. I have so many foundations, so many concealers, and I have noticed over the years of doing makeup that there are a lot of primers out there that just doesn't work with foundation. And what I mean by that is that every time I use a primer and then I go ahead and put a foundation on, the foundation ends up like rolling and building up into little balls and it just like looks really weird. It looks not cakey, but it just looks like the foundation is mixing in with the primer and it's just not working and they create like a little fluffy balls on my face and I have to like continuously blend out the little like excess balls. I don't know what to call it, I can't describe it. I don't know why some foundations don't work well with primers. It's just one of those things. It's like when you have an oily pan and you put water in it and you can see the oil separate. It's kind of like that. It's like some primers just don't work with some foundation. So yeah, hopefully this primer does work with a lot of my foundations. The foundation I'm going be testing out is the new Morphe foundation. This is the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. It is a medium to full coverage foundation and I am in the shade medium 16. I have been using this for the past week and a half and I really, really, really love it. It is an expensive Morphe foundation. I believe it's £20 and it's $20 as well in the States, which is quite high for Morphe because they usually have products below $15. And I really like this foundation. There's so many reasons why I like this foundation. Uh, to be honest, the first time I tried it, I didn't like it. And the reason why was because, well, it was a me problem. It wasn't a products problem. The reason why the first time I didn't like it, it was because I put too much powder on top of this foundation and it just went really cakey real quick. So I find that with this foundation, to set it, I have to use a loose powder rather than a pressed powder. So yeah, I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna like dot it on one side of my face just to show you guys. This came with the PR as well. This is the Morphe brush. I really like this brush. They also sent me a sponge as well. This sponge is huge. But yeah, look at 
at that, it just quickly blends into my skin. It doesn't even look like I got foundation on. I mean, you can kind of tell I have foundation on because look how much it covers my imperfections, but still it just looks so natural. But yeah, so this is the before and the after. I just love how this foundation looks and I find that one to two pumps is enough for my face. You can layer on this foundation, but I personally don't want to do that because that's not my, that's not my thing anymore. I honestly give this foundation like a 10 out of 10. It's so good. I just can't believe it's a Morphe foundation. As soon as I put this on, I was like texting my friends, sending her videos. I was like, girl, look at this foundation. Can you believe this is a Morphe foundation? I did go ahead off camera and put on my Fenty PC concealer run. I am in the shade 240 for the concealer. I'm now gonna go ahead and apply some blusher, which is my favorite step of a makeup routine. I love blusher so much. So I'm gonna use the LYS Beauty blush. This is in the shade Passion. And they also have makeup brushes as well. And they look so beautiful, very high quality, soft as well. I have nothing against Wet n Wild. I think Wet n Wild is one of the best drugstore brands. However, their brushes are very flimsy. This one just feels like it's not gonna blend my blusher. As for this, it's got that firmness, it's got that grip and also the the material just feels better as well. I am going to use this brush right here. It doesn't have names, so I don't know what this is called. But as always, if you watched me before, I will leave links down below in the description box for you guys in case you are interested in checking out these products. So yeah, I'm gonna go in literally just a little bit because I feel like this blush is gonna be pigmented. So I'm just gonna do the shade of my face. So I'm going in bit by bit with the blush rather than going in and then do that. <laughs> I love how it's blending with my foundation, but I don't think the shade is for me. I think the shade's a bit too, too much of a wine color. And it's not the type of blusher shade that I would go for unless I'm doing some sort of like fashion makeup look and my cheeks have to be like a different color. The consistency of this blusher is so nice though. Like it's not going cakey and it's got this really nice wet glowy look kind of like um where my skin looks healthy rather than like a glittery chunky glow highlighter so this product isn't new but i thought i'd talk to you guys about this anyway this is the shiseido matte powder and this is what i've been using to set my makeup whenever i use the morphe foundation i find this powder is super light and it doesn't like completely matte out my face like it mats it out enough to the point where okay yeah that's like that's like nice and matte <laughs> it's not it doesn't look dry if that makes it because you know how like some powders they make your face look so dry they have another powder as well called the radiance powder and that is oh that powder is so beautiful but i'm using the matte powder because i've been really liking the very like blurred out photoshop type of um base makeup look and also this morphe foundation lasts all day like i'm not joking guys it doesn't budge it doesn't go anywhere okay next up we got the physicians formula bronzer now i know this product has been around for a long time but i've never tried it before so this is my first time trying it i'm so lucky i actually recently just got on their pr list so this is really exciting because i don't know much about physicians formula i know they're a really big brand in the states but in terms of the uk uh but i don't really know that much about them but i was reading about physicians formula they are a premium ish brand but you can get them from boots i don't think they're available in super drugs and their brand is all about science and makeup and skincare all together and i love that oh this is really nice this bronze bronzer i love how like easy it is to blend everything together and i am in the shade god why do brands pick the hardest names to pronounce i don't know how to say that name Murmura butter bronzer <laughs> okay <laughs> anyway i really like it and also you can flip it open underneath the bronzer you can open it and there's a mirror in there as well which is super handy i love compact products Okay, I'm gonna take a break from my face and do the eyebrows. So I discovered this on TikTok and this is the NYX Professional Makeup, the brow glue. It's amazing. I've already used this maybe like five, six times and every time I use it, I just get more and more amazed because it just truly works. Everything about this product is just 10 out of 
10. So the packaging is on point. There's already a spoolie in there. The consistency of the product is great. It's gluey, tacky, it dries down. It doesn't go weird and patchy whenever you go ahead and fill in your eyebrows afterwards. It's just a 10 out of 10 product. And on top of that, I think it's like seven quid or something. And I think that's so good. Now, if you're wondering what's better, this or the ABH brows, I feel like they're both great. Both brands are so different though. As you know, ABH is a luxury brand and their brow freeze, it is so expensive. It's 24 pounds. And I think if you wanna spoil yourself, definitely go ahead and get that. But the only thing with that brow product is that I need to like wipe away the excess residues and oil on my brows in order for the ABH brow freeze to work. But this, the NYX the brow glue, I don't need to do any of that. That's why I like it so much. So you gotta keep brushing it up or brush it in a direct direction that you want your brows to go. I like the fluffy brow look and then you just gotta keep brushing it until you can feel the brow hairs go really like dry and tacky. Like look how high up my brow hairs are going compared to this one. Like that's how you know how stubborn my brow hairs are. They just naturally go down but this it just sticks it all up and it does last the whole day as well because I've trialed it, tested it out. It really does work. It's honestly amazing this product. Okay, so now that is on, I'm just gonna use my finger to press down the brow hairs. This tip really helps set set and it just stays in place. And you wanna go in lightly when pressing it down. You don't wanna go in hard. And then I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. My eyebrows are dry, so I'm just gonna give you guys a closey up. Closey up, a closer look, oh my god. So yeah, this is how they look. I am honestly so happy with this brow product. So the next product I'm gonna try is Huda Beauty. She just launched some new brow products. She has two different types of foundations. She has eyeshadow palettes, lashes, mascara, lip liners, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses. She is really coming in, so yeah, I am so happy that I got these. Thank you so much to Huda Beauty. It's always a pleasure receiving your PR. She kindly sent me the shade Soft Black, number eight, six Rich Brown, and seven Black Brown. So yeah, let's swatch them all. Okay, so I just swatched them all. You can't really tell the differences. When it comes to brow products, the best way to see comparison is when it's actually on the eyebrow. So I do recommend in going on the Huda Beauty website or the Huda Beauty Instagram page just to see the comparisons. I do think these products are going to be very loved. And the reason why I say that is because I am such a picky person when it comes to brow products. They have to be 10 out of 10. Anything below 10 is a no. The brow pencil is so fine. It's literally 0.9 millimeters, so that's very tiny. And when I was swatching them, I accidentally snapped it and it kind of gave me a flashback to when I was a kid. Do you remember when um, those pencils where you had the lead in and you pushed down the top and it comes out really long and then yeah it just reminds me of that it's so cool and I am gonna try the shade not rich brown I think that'd be too warm for me I think I'm gonna try the shade black brown I am trying to go for a lighter softer brow look oh now that it's on my eyebrows I think this is a bit too warm for me so I'm gonna change it over and go for the soft black instead Okay, this is looking really good. I know it's a very subtle difference because I am going for that softer brow look, but I do really like the consistency and I love how this shade, soft black, matches my brow hairs so well and it's not too dark. I feel like brows have evolved so much over the years. Like the shade black in particularly in the, in the brow world, it's so important to get that shade on points, especially for like, you know, for me, who's got like really dark black hair and dark black eyebrows because when you think of black brows you think it's going to be bold and blocky but no it has to be soft almost like a dark gray kind of and I feel like Huda nailed it with this brow shade. Next up we have Aviv. So this is Jamie Genevieve's makeup brand. Oh my god so proud of her. I've met Jamie a few times and she is honestly so fun and lovely and uh, yeah I'm just so excited to finally try this eye eyeshadow palette so let's give it a whirl. This is how the packaging looks for the eyeshadow palette. And you go ahead, open it up. Here it is. Don't mind how messy my makeup table is. <laughs> the pans are huge. Oh my god, they are huge and I love how I'm able to fully 
pull back the mirror as well. I find that so handy and helpful. Yeah, and I love how big the mirror is as well. It's a good quality mirror. Very important to have good quality mirrors when it comes to anything that's in a compact. Now, just so you guys know, lighting washes things out. So this shade here, So Shy, it's not white. It is actually more of a creamy color. And the shade Glimmer is more warm and golden. I'm gonna use an ABH primer. This is my go-to primer. And I think the type of look I'm gonna go for is gonna be like a, kind of like a soft glam type of makeup look. You can't go wrong with a soft glam look. I'm gonna go in with the shade Buff and then just apply it onto my crease. This literally matches my headband, the shade Buff. And then I think afterwards I might go in with the shade Cozy, but I feel like if I use a shade Buff, it might help give my eye shape a little bit of a natural contour. Wow, okay, this shade is really beautiful. That is nice. You can't deny that is that is nice. Sometimes eyeshadows can be really dusty when you put your brush in the eyeshadow. With this one, the shade Buff, there isn't. Right, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Cozy. I'm just gonna apply it a little bit lower. This is a really nice shade, Cozy. I'm trying to think if I have a shade like this in any of my other eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow palettes. It's very unique putting these two colors together. And then with a clean brush, I'm just gonna like buff out the edges and make it really nice and soft so it doesn't look harsh. I really like this combo, I think it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade Glimmer. Should I go in with the shade Glimmer? I don't know, should I? Mm, I kind of like how this looks already, so I think I might put Glimmer in the inner corner of my eyes. Okay, let me do like a smoke out liner using the shade Goodnight. Oh my god, I like it so much, I think it's cute. I'm just gonna buff it out, make it like a soft, smoky liner. Okay, I really like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, love the Vive eyeshadow palette. I think it's great. It is expensive, just to let you know. So if Vive ever does a sale, I recommend getting it on sale because wow, it's, it's a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette. But other than that, it is a good quality eyeshadow palette. I'm personally happy with it. I know some people weren't happy with the eyeshadow palette, which is so unfortunate because Jamie is such a lovely woman, but I'm happy with it and I personally do recommend it. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the new eyeshadow Eyelor liner and lash and this is really cool. So this is basically a non-adhesive Wait, is it non-adhesive? No, it is adhesive. My bad. It is a non-glue Applicator for your lashes. It's, it's very weird to explain but I've been dying to talk to you guys about it because I have tried it before and I really love it So yeah, they have a clear one and they have a black one as well I personally prefer the clear one and there's a little ball in there as well So you can shake it that way the products can come uh, more towards the the tip of the pen. So this is how it looks. Really cute. It's really cool. It looks like it's not going to do much, but it does absolute wonders. The lashes that I'm going to use is my lashes from Isla. This is the Empress. I've done a full on YouTube video about the lashes. So you guys want to check it out, which you do. What you do is that you go ahead and apply the pen as close as you can to your, your natural lashes. And then you kind of like wait for it to go a teeny bit tacky-ish and then I personally like to go in with a second layer after like five seconds of waiting and then with your lash applicator just gotta go ahead and just put on your false eyelash and it is on it literally just sticks on like glue I much prefer this than lash glue because my eyes are quite sensitive and even though I law lash glue is made for sensitive eyes I think it's just the liquidy glueiness that kind of is something that I had to deal with throughout my whole makeup career and just me wearing makeup in general this is an absolute game changer I love it so much and I love the fact that it is is a drugstore product so it is affordable and it does last as well I do recommend changing this at least once a month only because of hygiene reasons I also recommend that for eyelash glue as well got to change them at least once a month okay I'm gonna quickly go ahead and finish off the rest of my eye makeup Okay, I am so happy with my eye makeup. Moving on to the rest of the face. I also got the Vive highlighter. This is in the shade Holy Chic. And this is how it looks. Really nice and quite 
golden -y. Okay, I've had her some things. Apparently it's really chunky, but I want to see how chunky it is. Because sometimes when I was when I was watching other people try this highlighter on, I couldn't see it as well because, like I said earlier, lighting washes out everything. So I want to see for myself how this really looks. Oh yeah, this is the type of highlighter that does have glitter chunks in there, but it's not as bad as some people made it out as like some people really disliked it and I was just like okay but it still looks good though it's very glamorous this is the type of highlighter I'd wear with a face like this you know full face of like glamour soft glam makeup if I was doing like a natural type of makeup I wouldn't go for this type of highlighter I would go for something more of a like a glossy skin like finish almost like the Pat McGrath duo highlighter sticks they that looks like a um a natural glow within highlighter highlighter this is like a glamorous highlighter if that makes any sense i really like her and i'm happy with the shade as well okay it's so sad to do this but i have to take off my lip balm because we are about to do the lips now okay we're gonna use the Vib lip liners as well i think i'm gonna go with this shade this is in the shade bark i don't know why but for some reason jamie's dogs just came into my mind <laughs> Hmm, pretty creamy. Oh, I really like this shade. Hmm, shade is great. Have nothing to complain about the lip liner. And it feels nice and creamy. Lastly, lip gloss. Love a bit of lip gloss. I miss wearing lip gloss out and about. I know, random thing to say. But this is the new KVD lip glosses and these shades are to die for. Love the packaging. I love how it's white packaging rather than the dark black packaging that KVD usually goes for. I'm gonna go in and use... What shade should I use? I feel like this shade will look well. I really wanna use this, but this is quite cool toned and this look is like quite warm toned. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. This is in the shade Camilla 10. Oh, okay, and that's the applicator. Oh my God, this is a beautiful combination. Oh my God. And it's so creamy and hydrating as well. Mm, and it feels so nice when I press my lips together. It kind of feels like silk. It's really weird to describe. It feels amazing. Oh my God, love it. And I love how the KVD lip gloss managed to melt into my lip liner as well. So it doesn't look like I have like a harsh lip line going on. This is so nice. Oh my God, I'm so happy with my whole entire makeup look. So this is the end of the tutorial. I know it was very long, but I really hope that I helped you guys out. I really, really love how this makeup turned out. I think I'm gonna recreate a look like this again in the future. Can't go wrong with brown tones. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.